if we've learned anything from SoFi stock is that the stock will bounce after having a good earnings report. It will go up, but then it will sell off and then it will go back up leading up into the next earnings report. And if they report a good earnings report, it'll go up again and then it'll get sold off. So it doesn't maintain its trajectory upward. It's a volatile stock, as we know, because the short interest of the stock is at 13 percent. And Wall Street is still against it, a lot of it. But I'd rather be buying when they're against it versus when everyone is bullish on it. Remember, you got to buy when some people are in fear. So right now, like I said, Wall Street doesn't have good sentiment towards it. But I believe that will change eventually. Each quarter, they keep showing profitability. I know some analysts are worried because of some of the numbers, how they report them. And like I said, they just want to label it as a bank valuation, right? When it's so much more than that. So again, this is the time you got to be accumulating shares when others, you know, when the sentiment is not totally bullish, okay? So that's just my opinion. I'm holding long, obviously, you know, with this one. It's one of the stocks I have a small position in with my other small caps. You know, you know, I prefer the AI sector, okay? That's what I think has the biggest annual compound growth rate. So we'll see if SoFi gets more into that. That could turn the tide, obviously, too, if they start incorporating AI more, right, with what they're doing. But so far is on the, in the, on the right path right now. Like I said, I don't care what Wall Street's saying. The numbers speak for themselves. And I believe, like I said, they will eventually get back up. Remember, this stock was at 15, 20 bucks a share. Okay, and I, I get it. It was overvalued at that point. But I do believe their numbers with their earnings will show that it should be valued, you know, closer to 15 eventually. That's my price target for within the next couple of years. I think it can get back to 10, you know, plus by the end of this year. But again, it's all about sentiment right in the stock market. And we never know again, if inflation starts coming out again, right? And it's not coming down anymore, then that's going to change the narrative, obviously, if and stocks will all fall together, right? So just keep that in mind, the stock's going to be a choppy one, it's going to be volatile, it has a high short interest. So if you're going to play it, just play the momentum, nothing wrong with playing it while it's going up. And then once you see it curl over with big selling volume, you get out, stay out of the way. And then you wait for the next, like I said, before the earnings reports are a good time to play SoFi stock and then play it up to earnings. If they beat, play that pop and then take your profits and get out and wait for the next time. That's if you're a short-term trader. Like I said, if you're long and not looking at it, you just keep buying those big dips, like I said, after earnings reports, you know, along the way.